We are working it today with Andy Challenger, Challenger Gray and Christmas, here to talk about toxic cultures in the workplace. And Andy, we have heard some horror stories lately about employees being mistreated and harassed. What do you see happening as you're talking to HR directors? Yeah, during this extended period of record turnover, when job quits have remained at an all-time high for over a year, it really has organizations reconsidering just what it is that's causing people to quit so often and why some companies seem to be affected more than others. Uh, a lot of experts are starting to point to this idea of a toxic culture, that the way an organization treats its employees has more of a driving effect towards quits than any other benefit or salary possibly could. What exactly makes for a toxic workplace? Yeah, when experts look at glass door reviews of companies that are deemed to have a toxic culture and a turnover problem because of it, uh, among the top reasons people list they're leaving is uh, particularly for people in marginalized groups, non-inclusivity. They don't feel like they're part of the culture, the organization. Uh, not only are they not included, but they don't feel like they belong to the group. Um, there's also this uh, idea of respect. Often you'll see in reviews of companies with bad cultures, this feeling of disrespect, uh, that employees don't feel they have dignity in their work, that employers don't see them as human beings, and that this tie between the company and the individual has become worn out. Well, problems often start at the top. What can you tell us about bad bosses? Yeah, the other core culprit is bad bosses. You often hear that workers aren't leaving companies, they're leaving bad managers, uh, that they found that the inability to communicate or get respect from their manager drove them out of a job. Uh, this is something we're seeing more and more often through the pandemic period, as a lot of people were promoted into leadership roles without having a lot of experience. How many people leave jobs just because of a toxic workplace environment? Yeah, one in five workers have left a job at some point in their career because of a toxic culture. And that adds up for employers. The cost of finding a new employee, retraining them, going through the whole hiring process isn't cheap. And if an organization experiences it over and over again, they're never going to move forward. So this is something that companies need to address head on, uh, whether it's a complete HR overhaul of the culture or specific interventions with coaches. Uh, it's a, a problem worth tackling sooner rather than later. Great information, Andy. Thanks so much for being on our show. Thanks for having me on, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.